hello everyone welcome back in today's video i want to share with us four group of people or four categories of people you should never help no matter what but please do not get misled by the title of this video try to watch the video to the end you are going to learn one or two things from this video remember it's good to help help us and give us never lag so watch this video to know where my i'm driving my point from the first group of people you should never help are people who did not ask you for help if somebody did not ask you for help be careful in helping that person because the person may turn out to be an ingrate tomorrow he will be he or she will be able to say after all i never asked you for help you just wanted to help so you should not uh, you should not expect a thank you from me after all i was on my own you decided to help i have seen people who people gladly say that too because they can betray you why they, they should betray you or why they will betray you that they did not ask you for help and they don't even appreciate whatever you are doing so when people do not ask you for help you decided to help out of your goodwill please do not expect anything in return because 90 percent of them are ingrates number two categories of people that you should never help are people who does not help yourself or who doesn't want to help yourself what do i mean by that there are people who doesn't want to help yourself in the sense that they are lazy if you employ them they will work for two days they will run you open a business for them they will squander it i have seen people who their brothers overseas will empower with a huge sum of money to start up a business all they will do is to go and live in a hotel with a woman then for the ladies that is when they will remember to buy 32 inches bone straights that is the time they will remember to buy expensive makeup that is the time they will remember to do go and do a, a body massage that is the time they will go and remember to buy talking wear that is the time they will remember to go and buy that shoe they sell for five hundred thousand. so if you have this kind of people around you do not bother helping them because your help can make you cry all the rest of your life i have seen somebody that cannot she has the money to buy a good hair but she feels that gifting that money to somebody around her to open a business can help reduce the stress she's carrying and what did she get in return that person telling her that she cannot start, uh, she, don't, she should not expect her to go and start doing that local business these are people we see around us these kind of people they don't want to help themselves so don't bother yourself helping them i have seen people who uh, people will go and rent house for because of the kind of environment they are they prefer to go there so that people will be gifting them money out of pity because if they live in a good house people will not have they prefer to go and live in a ghetto where people will be coming to make video of them and be gifting them money so avoid this category of people okay the third category of people that you should never help people with entitlement mentality if take for instance you place some people so many people do it like my husband there are some people he placed on salaries every month so such people imagine maybe this month you have a low business or your salary came late you could not pay them you'll be surprised the kind of calls you'll be getting from this kind of people even when you tell them that this month please everybody should manage that there is how the business is that entitlement mentality in them will make them to start insulting you the things you will hear about your name you will even run mad many people overseas there are people you help every month there are people you pay their children's school fees there are people you pay their house rent in your in your country and maybe that month you lost your job is common with people abroad they lose their job almost all the time you lose your job and maybe you're even struggling to pay your own bills out there and you reach out to your family down in your country please i'm struggling financially for some time please if you can manage to and when i get another job they some of them will ask you how do you want them to manage because they have felt entitled they feel it's your duty to provide for them I am a victim of entitlement mentality. People that feel that they are my subscribers or my followers, some of them will call me 
telling me to give them a million naira to pay their school fees or their children's school fees or her friends. You can imagine somebody I don't know telling me to give him or her such amount of money. You'll be asking, do I actually have such money? Then talk of the one I will give to somebody I don't know. These are the things many people have seen. And when you tell them you don't have, they will say, but I am a follower. I am your subscriber. So because you are my subscriber, you are my follower, every income that comes into my pocket, I will give it to you. That is entitlement mentality. Somebody from the channel invited me for her wedding. And you know I have a newborn baby. The place, I'm in the same state with her. I've been going to some people's locations, if you are close. But when I asked my husband about the place, he told me about the insecurity in the place. He told me how far it was from where we were staying. I quickly called, I said, okay, I don't think I'll be coming. I can give you a little thing. I sent her a token. She never called me up today to appreciate it. Even when I thought maybe I sent a wrong account number, I called her. She, and she said she saw it. That was the appreciation. This person, remember, I don't even know her. If I go for the occasion, I may not, I don't even, I've not seen her face before. Just because she's my subscriber, just because she invited me, she heard we are in the same state. So this entitlement mentality has really made so many people to stop helping. So if you know about people with entitlement mentality, my brothers and sisters run away from them. The last set of people you should never think of helping are people that compares your gifts or your help with what others have done for them. Yes. You will gift somebody, maybe, let's take for instance, you gifted somebody, let me say, a wristwatch. The person will come and tell you, ah, the other person that is uh, related to me, that my auntie, you're even richer than her. She gave me a box full of clothes. That is comparison. You don't even know the worth of that watch. You don't even know if that person you feel is rich actually have the money. But maybe because of package, you know many people package a lot these days, you won't even know who is struggling again. And you start comparing him or her. Some people will tell you that their sister in abroad, uh, my brother wife, my brother's wife used to give me uh, every month, she pays me. You that I'm doing this one for cannot even give me one naira. Or look at what you are gifting me when the other person I'm not helping is, you know, comparison. The only point that compares whatever gift or good gesture you do for you gift uh, you do for him or her, avoid such person. The person will never appreciate anything you do for uh, for him or her, even till tomorrow. So stop helping people who compares whatever help you have helped them with another person's help. Run away from such persons. When you learn all these things I say and put them into consideration before helping people, you will never regret helping people. You will help people and people will appreciate your help. And it will encourage you to keep helping people because there are actually people who need those help. You have decided not to help people again. So thank you for watching. And if you want me to talk about the continuation of the part two of this, please let me know under the comment section. Thank you once again and see you in my next one.